So restaurants are reopening across San Diego at 25% capacity for indoor dining, but that's not enough to help them break even or recover what they have lost during this pandemic. As we look for ways to help people rebound, ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron spoke with industry experts who say the best way to move forward may be to scale back. March 17th is the toughest day of our restaurant. We had to lay off 29 employees. The coronavirus pandemic hit Cali Comfort Barbecue hard. The most important thing is making people feel welcome, and the coronavirus is literally the antithesis of that. To keep his restaurant alive, owner Sean Walchiff realized he needed a new strategy. Working with consultants from Restaurant Solutions, he transformed his thriving barbecue and sports bar into a digital-only takeout and delivery restaurant. As restaurant owners, we can't discriminate how people eat our barbecue. You know, if they want to order barbecue delivered to their office or if they want to get it ordered to the Little League field, then they should be able to get that. They shouldn't have to come and wait in line, you know, wait an hour on a busy Sunday to come and get barbecue. It's a move Restaurant Solutions says is necessary during and after the pandemic. This isn't going away. So it's about identifying how you are going to adapt to that and what practices can you put in place that are going to help you succeed with really what that new normal is. Sydney Lynn with Restaurant Solutions says her company focuses on four strategies to help restaurants survive the coronavirus. Find a break even point, adjust your budget, which could mean layoffs or cuts, streamline your menu, and go digital by improving your website, takeout and delivery options, and social media. The great thing is, is that the restaurant entrepreneurs and owners, um, you know, they're the most creative and innovative folks you'll know. You know, so if anyone can pivot, it will be them. For Cali Comfort, it meant eliminating breakfast on weekends, cutting menu items, and finding ways to make people feel as welcomed online as they would inside. Whether it's through their website, whether it's through their email, whether it's through Facebook, whether it's through Instagram, direct message, those are all customers. And we need to treat them the same way as if they walked into our restaurant. The new strategies are working for Cali Comfort. Walchef says he now plans to expand, opening a digital-only kitchen for delivery and takeout in Barrio Logan sometime this year. As for dine-in, he says he's still trying to evaluate when to reopen those doors. In Spring Valley, Jared Aarons, ABC 10 News. We're wishing everybody the best there. If you have a story about how to rebound from the pandemic, we would love to hear about it. Just send an email to tips at 10news.com.